Hello, art students. Good to see you guys. Of course, as you can see, I hope everyone has read the book, Camille and the Sunflowers, a story about Vincent Van Gogh. That is the artist that we're going to be focusing on. So I hope everyone has watched the story and that you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it, okay? So let's go ahead and dive right into this lesson, guys. Of course, you know, we're going to be drawing sunflowers because guess what? Vincent Van Gogh, he drew 11 pieces of artwork and it had to do with beautiful sunflowers. And guys, I gotta say this, sunflowers are really, really cool. I actually got to visit a sunflower field about two years ago and I'll hopefully I'll get to show the picture, share the pictures with you, okay guys? So, hope you guys read the book. If you haven't, please click on the YouTube channel so you can watch it and get the most out of it, okay guys? So, let's dive right into this lesson. You are going to start with a pencil and eraser, okay? All right, so that way, if you mess up, you can easily clear up your mistake. I am going to be working with a marker, everybody, okay? Because I want you guys to see what I am doing. It's kind of hard for you guys to see it with a pencil, okay? So I'm gonna work with marker, you work with pencil, all right? Everybody got that? You work with a pencil, I work with a marker, okay? Let's dive right in. Okay, you're going to start with your paper being portrait way, okay? Portrait way, not landscape. You're going to start with portrait way, okay? You're going to draw in the middle of your paper towards the, uh, if this is the center, you're going to go up a little bit and make a circle about the size of your hand, okay? So you're gonna make a circle about the size of your hand like you're fitting a little ball in your hand, okay? Think of it like a the bottom of a water bottle, okay? That's about as big as you want it to be, okay? So, let's go ahead and do it. There is my circle. Cool. And guess what? That is the center part of my flower, okay? Or my sunflower. And this is where the seeds come from, everybody. The little brown part is where the seeds come from, okay? Now, I'm going to draw petals, petals. And your sunflower is going to be pretty big, okay? I don't want no teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny sunflower. I want it to be exploding off of the page, guys. No tiny, tiny, tiny sunflowers, okay? I hope you guys are paying attention to me when I say that, okay? Because some of you, I say, draw big, draw big, draw big, and you still draw little, little. No, no, no. I want it big, 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 okay? Next, I'm going to draw my petals of my sunflower, okay? And as you can see, guys, there are so many ways that you can draw your sunflower petals, okay? There are so many ways that you can do it, okay? It's all about how you want to do it. I'm going to draw my sunflower petals kind of pointy round, okay? Everybody see that? And it's okay if it goes off of the page, guys. That makes it interesting. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw the stem of my flower, the stem of my sunflower, okay? Everybody see that? And I'm gonna make it kind of thick. And it's okay if you go to the edge of the paper. That's fine, I don't want you to stop right there. I want you to go to the edge of the paper. You see, I went to the edge of the paper right there. That is fine if you go to the edge. I'm okay with that, that's good. Next. I want to draw a big leaf, okay? A big leaf going from here to there. And there's normally a line in the leaf. And I'm going to do another leaf over here. 
And again, guys, look, I went to the edge of the paper. Everybody see that? I went to the edge of the paper on both sides. I want you to do that. That's cool. It's okay to go to the edge of the paper. And then I'm gonna put little texture lines on my petal. Cool. So guess what, guys? It is time to color. Yes. Time to color. I'm going to be using green for my stem of my flower. And if you want to use light green, dark green, use whatever color green that you like, okay? Next, guys, I'm going to color the center part. I want to color it, hmm, I think I want to go with brown. Brownish orange. Ooh, and you know what? I forgot something the texture of my, the center part of my flower. I'm just gonna take a black marker or you could use a black crayon and put little dots in there. And that represents the texture of the center part of our sunflower. Everybody see that? Cool. You got it, guys. Next, I'm gonna go in with a golden yellow. This is gonna come out so cool, everybody. And if you need to turn your paper to color, that is fine, everybody. Okay guys, we got the flower. We have finished coloring the flower. And the flower is in the foreground, okay? But what is all of this back here, guys? What is that called? Can anybody tell me? If this is the foreground, this is the back. This is the background. So we're gonna color that too. You see how I colored the background on this one? So guess what? We're gonna color the background on our flower. And I'm going to choose a nice pretty color blue 
to color the background of my flower. So remember, our flower is in the foreground, but the blue is in the background, everybody. Alrighty guys, there you have it, your big giant sunflower, courtesy of the artist Vincent Van Gogh, everybody. Okay, so you learned about Vincent Van Gogh and you did a sunflower in honor of his birthday. Happy birthday, Vincent Van Gogh. You guys have a great day and I will see you in the hallways, all right? Be good.